Hello Leo, hello cross watchers. This is going to be a reading for March 16th to March 22nd, 2020. So please like and subscribe. If you don't want the notifications, don't hit the bell icon. But I have a lot of views and not very many subscribers. So YouTube is pushing for me to push for subscribers. So like I said, if you hit the subscription button and you don't hit the notifi the bell, you won't get notifications. They won't interfere with your other notifications. But it helps me out a lot. So if you could do that, I would appreciate it. And I'm very thankful to all the views and all the subscribers. So, but there's just requirements they try and push us to reach. So, I have to try and incorporate those into my readings as well. Okay, so I'm going to use the Mystical Cats Tarot and the Chakra Wisdom Tarot. But first I'm going to pull the Whispers of the Ocean card for you. Three of them. So let's see what the first one is, Leo. Amble with contentment. Number nine, waiting rather than acting is going to be most advantageous now. So that looks like the heart chakra to me. And I know number nine. Let's see. Seahorses are considered mild-mannered and sedate creatures which are happy to roam the oceans. Their tiny stature is structured for sauntering. They do not travel at speed. They truly emanate the energy of patience and happiness. Seahorses are content where they are and do not hurry when making changes. The seahorse will wrap its tail around a piece of coral or some other structure to resist a strong current. They remind you to hold tight and bide your time if you find yourself being rushed or overwhelmed. Trust your gut feelings on your sensitivity to give you information about your current situation. Let go of any doubts or uncertainty, uncertainties as they are only going to cause you to become off balance. You may want some personal time to clear your thoughts. Things are going to come to fruition so trust that they only need to be present for this to unfold in the most positive manner. So things are going to change, but they're going to play into a positive way. So the next one for you is 45 leaping through the air. A plan you have made is on track. If you are waiting for something, get to work and stop putting off ideas or projects you are considering. So 45, which would be 9, and the first one was 9. If, yeah, so let me see. Flying fish can fly above the water for short distances. They do this to elude the larger fish that hunt them. Flying fish show you how to deal with emotional situations that might be impeding your progress. Rise above whatever might be bogging you down. There is a choice and an opportunity to shift out of an old situation or emotion. With little effort, you could be skimming to where you need to be. This is an information card that lets you know you are on the right path. Remember to listen to your inner guidance. Your guidance sees you achieving success in everything you do. It is time for intention setting and creating new goals. Come up with innovative ways to solve challenges and rely on your experience and network to arrive at solutions. So one more from this deck. And it is 30. Surrounded by prosperity. This is really good. So your attention is being drawn to the infinite nature of reality. That which exists outside the known is beyond measure. Oh my gosh, Leo. So, wow, what is coming to a lot of you? And of course, this can't apply to every single Leo out there, so don't force it to fit if it doesn't. But yeah, this is to the general population. The yellow tang, a serene ocean dweller, is an essential part of the reef ecosystem. Large schools of yellow tangs can be found on the ocean's reefs. The yellow tang is attracted to areas of coral where they, are clear, where they clear away excess algae. They help maintain balance in the ecosystem. Algae can turn up in all sorts of places and you may even see yellow tang cleaning it off of a turtle. 
Abundance can clear up and show up in a variety of ways. Trust that you are abundant. Clear away anything that may hinder your bounty. The school of fish pictured represents abundance, sanctuary, desire, control, steadiness, and even a possible windfall. You may find you want to take care of others by offering advice, guidance, and wisdom, as well as loaning your money or giving your time to a worthwhile cause now. Your abundant flow is at its peak and you find hidden treasures around every corner and in a wide variety of situations. Wow, that's beautiful. And this is your solar plexus. Very nice, Leo. So now I'm going to start with the Mystical Cats Tarot. So seven of earth. So some of you are waiting for something. And with the tree roots in the picture, I feel like it could have to do with family. I don't know if you're waiting for family to come out of the hospital, family to come on a vacation, family's birthday, something with family you're waiting on. So three of C is friendship. So you have friends around you, it seems like, or you're waiting on friends, maybe. So Nine of Sky, something has you very stressed out, Leo. You can't sleep, you're very stressed. You're worried. So this is stars, this is beautiful. This could represent a Aquarius in your birth chart or Aquarius in your life. This is probably some wish fulfillment. And I mean, it could be as simple as you wanting the red car you want, or the job you want. I'm not talking you're going to win abundance, but this card implies differently. Um, so it would be 9, 9, and 3, if that means anything to any of you. So this also, to me, is the divine giving you strength. And this is the lovers. This is a Gemini. You could have a Gemini placement in your birth chart or a Gemini in your life. There's a lot of passion in that card. So six of earth is generosity. This is you being generous to somebody or somebody being generous to you, Leo. The Empress, beautiful. So the Empress is somebody who does a lot of the domesticated stuff. She does the doctor visits, taking the kids to school, taking the pets to the groomer, paying the bills, keeping the house tidy. So I don't know if there's somebody in your life who represents that, or if that's you, Leo, but that's a lot of stuff. And they could have a full-time job. So nine of C is you reflecting on what you want your future to be like. You have dreams and goals, and that's good that you think about them. I feel like you're dreaming about them, too. So, Fire Tom. This is a couple things. This is somebody who is really skilled at their job and can do it with their eyes closed, or this is somebody who takes chances and walks through fire. So, Sky Kitten is a couple things. This could be somebody who's immature, so their immaturity could be happy and fun go lucky, or their immaturity could be annoying. Or it could be a new opportunity just starting coming into you that you're happy about, you're excited about. Two of Fire is you trying to make a decision about something. You're looking in your past and you want to turn around and move forward, and you want to be clear. You're reflecting. So again, Ten of Sky. You have Nine of Sky and now Ten of Sky. Something has you really stressed out. Leo. I wonder what it is. What am I picking up here? So let me see the floating cat. So you have Two of Fire, now you have the floating cat. This is usually my yes card, but you're undecided about something. Something has you really perplexed. Sea kitten, a lot of kitten, young energy in here. This is, could be somebody new also coming into your life, the start of a new job, a new person, a new friend, a new pet, a new sibling, something like that. Or somebody just new coming into your life. So Knight of Cups is somebody coming in to offer love. And this is a throat chakra. So this person could be in and out. You have to be careful. He has love, but whether he's going to stay or not, I can't see. 
Oh, and I pulled it, the wrong card. I pulled the Chakra Wisdom, and I was supposed to pull the Fantasy Cats, or, or the, eh, the Mystical Cats Tarot. So now I'm going to switch over to the Chakra card. So this is the Devil. This could be Capricorn, Leo, around you, or you could have Capricorn placement in your birth chart. Nine of Coins is you putting your money away, you're saving, which is good. You're organizing your money, your life. Queen of Swords. So Queen of Swords is somebody who knows her self-worth, and this card represents that she's protected by the Divine, with the dogs at her feet. And I feel like somebody is almost trying to get one over on you, Leo. And your intuition kicks in and you call them out on it or you cut them off because of it. Like you, you're aware of it and somebody doesn't realize that. Ooh, Ace of Swords. So I feel like somebody who threatens your identity or I just feel like somebody's trying to mislead you. And somehow you get intuition about it, Leo. You're on it. And as soon as you find out, you're like, okay, we're done here. Thank you, but no thank you. And then Queen of Wands. So again, this is the queen who knows her self-worth. So I feel like somebody tested your self-worth. And you had to put them in their place and cut them off. And now you're like, you know, why do I have to do that? Why do I have to assert myself and show people... I know my self-worth when you don't. So if you take the chance on acting like you don't know their self-worth and then they show you, that's heavy. Wow, another intuition, Queen of Cups. So Leo, either you or somebody around you has a lot of intuition. A lot. And so this is love. This is concerning love. So somebody has intuition concerning their love. I'm not sure what she's having intuition about yet. Ace of Wands. So this is an opportunity, I feel like, concerning love. So I don't know if somebody you're with, Leo, you're getting an intuition that somebody is... What's the word I'm looking for? Um, gosh, what's the word? I'm just coming around your property, so to speak, you know, causing issues. So then you have Six of Swords. So this is you not wanting to repeat a pattern or a behavior either from you or your partner that you have put up with from the past. You are not going to do it again. So you, you're healing from something still and you don't want to put on that. You have one, two, three, four intuition cards. Princess of Coins. So this is a loyal princess who is very good with her coins. She's organized, she's practical, she's not dramatic. And you have all those intuition and then the heart coins come up. So Ten of Cups, this is happiness. Happiness and wish fulfillment. Very nice. Princess of Swords. Gosh, you have so many swords in here. You have Queen of Swords, Ace of Swords, and now the Princess of Swords. And you have Six of Swords. So this again is somebody, this almost makes me want to cry, Leo. This is somebody you love and they're spying on you or they're causing issues. And you don't want to cut this person out, but you, it's like they're giving you no choice. Like, are they forcing you to cut them out of your life? Do they not care anymore? Is what I'm feeling. You are... You don't want to have to do that. But yeah, somebody is threatening your love, which goes with the Ace of Wands. Yeah. So this is the Emperor. This could be a boss figure. This is somebody who is very strict. It could be somebody who's narcissistic. It's their way, no way. You stay in their perimeter. What goes on in his house, he's aware of 100%. It's crazy when people live with the emperor and think they can do stuff and he won't know what's going on. Emperors know everything. They're like a mom. <laughs> so, here we go. And they can do it secretly like moms can without anyone even knowing what's going on. They just have that inkling. So this is Two of Swords. 
This is somebody putting their guard up and blocking, putting walls up. They're blocking somebody. They feel like they need to. Four cups. So this is somebody looking at four cups and there's one that's spilled and they're focusing on the one spilled cup from the past instead of being present in today. Princess of Cups. This is love being offered to a honest, loyal person. They want to offer their love to somebody and they want the honest love back to them. They don't want games. So you have four intuition cards, four heart chakra cards. This is a very heavy reading, Leo, for the Princess of Coins, Princess of Swords, Princess of Cups, Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords. There was a lot of love here, but I feel like somebody has pushed you to cut them out. They just... I don't understand why they pushed you. I really don't. I mean, they... you... you... I'm so confused. I really am. I see an honest love here. I see a tender heart. I see somebody good with coins. Somebody who has intuition. And somebody, it looks like, just walked all over it. So here's Nine of Swords. This is regret. This is sadness. Somebody has grief. They cry over somebody hurting them. That's so sad, Leo. The world, beautiful. This is, you're going to move into a higher realm, Leo. And I know some of you are hurting really bad right now. I don't know if you're going to love, learn to love yourself better than this person ever could have loved you. For the next person coming towards you, I don't know if somebody's going to come to you with so much love that other person is going to be pushed to the side, their memory, so to speak. But I feel like change is coming to you that's going to be positive and healing to you in a lot of ways. The chariot, a new direction in life. That's beautiful. That's so beautiful. Oh, Leo. And then, so let me see. I'm going to pull the Soul's Journey lesson cards now. So the first one for you, Leo, is discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. And this is healing. You're healing from something. Whatever goals you are putting in your mind, this tells me you're going to totally accomplish them. So start setting goals, Leo. I know some of you are hurting and still healing, but start setting goals. Set some that seem impossible. Set some that seem possible. Set some just for creativity and fun. Guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. This all just makes me want to cry. It really does. Because this is what I see when I see that. I feel like somebody hurt you really bad, Leo. They really took advantage of your kindness and your soft side. And they really did a number on you, so to speak. And that was just wrong. And you're shocked because I feel like you love that person. You didn't see, you would have never done this to them and you do not understand how they could have done it to you. So your guilt is for yourself for not seeing what this person was going to do to you. And please don't keep that negative energy and space within you. Just release it. They, they, they wanted it to go this way. They did everything they could to make you think it was going to be different than what it was. So you can't hold yourself. You're hard on yourself too. I can just see it in these cards. So empowering. Seven is a heaven number to me. Look in the mirror, Leo. Tell yourself strong affirmations. You are beautiful. You are worthy. You are lovable. And for anyone to hurt you or take advantage of you, is somebody you're going to leave in the past and you're only going to move forward looking for positive people who empower you. If people don't empower you, just keep them as an acquaintance. Don't let them get close to you. Only let those who empower you close to you.
Number two, feeling. A lot of you are feeling a lot of feeling. Look at the black and white. It's like it's black and white. It's gray. You're going over every detail, everything in your head. You are so hard on yourself. And it's what we do when we grieve and we move on. But you're moving on, trust me. So seven and two, if that means anything to any of you. And I mean these right here love the world and a new direction everything is going to be fine leo you're going to have a beautiful life this person is gone they can't hurt you anymore they're done so thank you so much leo and cross watchers for coming to echo catcher tarot